to get a better sense of what is happening in this hotly, hotly contested state. Among this critical group of voters, we went right down to ground zero and talked to a group of nearly 60 members of UA Local 85, a union group of plumbers, steam fitters, and HVAC technicians at their union hall in Saginaw County. We talked about the upcoming election, how many of them remain undecided, and what might make them more decided. Even with so much of this election riding on their vote and two such diametrically opposed candidates to choose from, a lot of these folks remain very much up for grabs. There is also a fairly stark generational divide among these union members, but maybe not the kind you would expect. What you're about to hear is critical in understanding why this race remains so very close and why its outcome may not even be clear on election night. It is a fascinating, complicated snapshot from the front lines of the 2024 election. Take a look. All right, so by a show of hands, how many of you are paying close attention to this election? Okay, that's, I'm gonna say that's like half the audience. Is anybody undecided? Okay. I'm undecided because I just haven't, I haven't seen enough of it yet. Um, I need to pay closer attention and kind of do more independent research before I make my uh, judgment. What have you caught of this campaign? Have there been news stories about the candidates that have made its way to your, you know, your, your information feed? Not particularly. It's just how people kind of act around this time. Mm -hmm. It's a little crazy, so I try not to partake so much. I'm supporting Kamala Harris because I've seen four years, well, actually I've seen nine years of Donald Trump. We have to move our, our country forward. I think Kamala Harris, generation like that, younger than myself, needs to start moving this country forward. Donald Trump is mo going, pulling us backwards, not moving us forward. That's why I support Kamala Harris. Young people, there's a lot of young people in this room. I see the policies of Kamala Harris, uh, the, the Infrastructure Act, that's put most of these people here back to work for pretty much their entire career at a good wage that they can support their family and own a home and, and build generational wealth. President Biden is the most pro-working uh, president we've ever had. The only president to be on a picket line and to support working families. Um, the infrastructure bill, time after time, we've seen him stand up for us. Do you feel like Vice President Harris is gonna be as strong as he was? I do. Who here is voting for the first time? Is this anybody's first election? You guys back here. What's sort of made its way across your radar? Any, any stories or issues or positions? Uh, mostly just immigration. Can you talk a little bit more about that? What, what about immigration is, have you been paying attention to? Um, there are thousands and thousands of illegal immigrants coming across the border every day, and the vice president has done minimal work to fix that um, based on what I've seen. So I'd like that to change. Do you feel like Donald Trump's going to be better on that issue? Uh, based on what we've seen on his first four years, I do believe that he will be better on that, yeah. Do you f are you leaning towards Trump right now? Uh, yes, ma'am. Is there anything that Vice President Harris could do at this point to change your mind? Um, not particularly, no, unless she changes her stance completely on fixing the border. Um, that's no. This is your first election? Yeah, it is. And have you been paying attention to stuff? Uh, some things, but as of right now, it's kind of hard to know what is true and what's false as far as both parties are concerned. Like, what issue matters to you the most? Um, definitely our issues concerning democracy and what was discussed before the border. What about immigration concerns you? The influx in illegal immigration is affecting a lot more than just the people, but our economy, um, we're losing jobs for the people who live here. People are, you know, running out of work and in return, it's making life as a whole for the country harder. Do you feel like one candidate or the other is better on that issue? Like I I don't know what to believe from what I'm seeing from multiple news outlets and what comes across my news feed and whatnot. So I don't, I'm not super opinionated either way. How do you think you're going to ultimately decide? I know we talked to one gentleman who said, I think I'm just going to kind of go with my heart 
on election yeah. day. As the election comes a little closer, I think the more I see and the more truth that ends up coming out, I'll be able to make a more educated. How many people care about what, whether their union endorses a candidate? Is that going to matter to you? So it matters to me what my union endorses because the union provides me with work and directly affects my pocketbook and my family. If the union doesn't endorse a candidate and you're left, you know, to decide on your own, first of all, do you think you're definitely going to vote? I'm definitely going to vote. How do you think you're going to ultimately make that decision? I think I'm still going to be conflicted in the voting line. Really? So literally a game time call? I think so. Do, is it going to matter what your fellow union members are doing? It's, it's going to matter. Do you guys talk about it? Yeah, it's definitely a hot topic. And is there disagreement? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right now, it's pretty black and white what's happening. You know, and uh, you go back to uh, where uh, Republicans wanted to make our economy a service economy rather than a manufacturing economy. So do your research on that. Do it. You know, and vote for Christ's sakes. You know, people around the country, around the world don't have an opportunity. Look around the economy. I mean, we got the chip sacks going on here. There's billions and billions of dollars. Most of these people in this room are, are benefiting from Biden's chip axe deal. And they don't even know it yet. Do your research. Look at that. Jesus Christ, pull the head out of your ass. You saw that a number of veteran workers there who were strong supporters of Vice President Kamala Harris, but you also saw that there were a large number of union workers, particularly younger union workers, who were undecided. And throughout our discussion, it was clear that many of those undecided voters saw immigration and the southern border as a major concern. They were also particularly motivated by concerns about the economy, including inflation and the rising cost of housing. Do you think the cause housing is an issue? Uh, yes, I actually just recently purchased a home. So, yes, I do think that it is too high. It, it's just the cost of a livable, move-in, ready home nowadays is just absurd, I think, in my opinion, to where before I feel like you could buy a house for a reasonable price in it not have to have a ton of work put into it. I just recently purchased a house as well, and uh, this house has gone up $50,000 in the past five years. So, I mean, just looking at the prices in the past five years, you know, why has it gone up so much? What can we do to bring it back down to what it was? We're fortunate enough, our wages have been able to keep up with inflation, but a lot of people, they haven't been so fortunate, and they have to choose between paying bills, buying food, putting food on the table, you know, so I think that's going to play a big factor in this election.